Today we're talking about the death of the leader of uh, North Korea, and you're telling us about a connection that North Korea had to terror in this area. Yes, uh, North Korea apparently was involved with the conflicts in the Middle East um, for many, many years. Uh, it began in the 70s in the uh, terror attack that uh, happened in the Lord Airport, uh, today called Ben Gurion Airport, in 1972. Uh, it was carried out by three members of the Japanese Red Army Terror Organization. It's a Japanese terror organization that was supported by North Korea. It was called to uh, carry an attack um, against an Israeli aircraft uh, by uh, George Habash, who's the head of the uh, PFLP, Popular Front of uh, Liberation of Palestine. Um, they came, they came to uh, South Lebanon, they learned the uh, security in uh, El Al and they realized that they will not be able to hijack a plan. They went to plan B, which is to carry on an attack inside the airport in Israel. Uh, at these times, nobody checked your uh, luggage. Uh, you could have brought anything you wanted, basically. Nobody screened the luggage. So they put everything they wanted to bring. They took an Air France flight from to, uh, from Rome to Tel Aviv, and when they arrived in Tel Aviv, they were waiting in the arrival hall, uh, waiting for their bags. Their bags arrived on the carousel, they opened the bags, and they pulled out hand grenades and uh, guns and started shooting towards all the people in the crowd. They killed 28 people, they injured around 70 people. Uh, 17 people of the uh, murderer were um, Puerto Rican pilgrims, that came to Israel, people, Christians, that saved their entire life to uh, visit the Holy Land. We uh, filed a lawsuit on behalf of these Puerto Ricans in the uh, San Juan Federal Court, uh, and we were able to approve that um, uh, North Korea is responsible for the attack, and were able to uh, get a judgment against North Korea for $378 million. Now, this is a story that happened back in the 70s. How about their connection uh, to terror these days? It continues. Um, North Korea was the one who helped Iran to build their nuclear uh, bunker, uh, and the Iranians saw that uh, North Korea is doing a great job. They sent them to the uh, to South Lebanon to help Hezbollah to build their tunnels. Uh, according to the State Department report, we are talking about huge tunnels, 25 kilometers uh, uh, length. Uh, which uh, facilitated Hezbollah to f uh, shoot missiles towards the uh, northern um, cities of the country in the Second Lebanese War. They were shooting uh, a missile from one edge of the tunnel, uh, hiding and moving quickly without Israel seeing to the other edge. This is why Israel had uh, difficulties to uh, take down the uh, uh, missile uh, challenger. How do you explain uh, this connection? I mean, what, what interest does uh, North Korea have in what's going on in the area? Well, it's uh, their ideological uh, views of the North Korea government. North Korea is very radical communist country. Uh, they are trying to uh, uh, friends with other countries, but unfortunately for them, there are not so many countries which are communist radical that can communicate with North Korea. Therefore, they find uh, allies among the uh, terror organization that want to destroy the West and also among the regime that want to destroy the West. Uh, therefore, they have great connections with Iran, helping them to build their nuclear program. Uh, and they have great connection with the Palestinian terror organizations uh, in the Middle East. Um, they are fighting the West, and Israel is a representative of the West in the Middle East. So when you win in a court case like this, when you sue and you win, is there anywhere to get the money, or is there no connection really with North Korea? Uh, uh, well, actually there is. Um, there are frozen assets and frozen bank accounts that belong to North Korea. Uh, they are in the United States and other countries uh, around the world, and we are in litigation to get these assets to enforce them against the judgment we received against North Korea. So how do you see the, uh, the death of uh, the leader of North Korea? It's very hard to tell. Uh, North Korea is a very conservative uh, country that keeps their secrets among themselves. They do not go public about their views. And even the uh, new ruler, which is a very, very young guy, 
uh, is not a political figure, had not expressed his uh, opinions in public uh, until now, and it's very hard to know and to foresee where North Korea will go after the death of the ruler.